So what are you going to be showing us today? Is it going to be a 37 sensor kit version 1.0? Well, funny you should say that because that's exactly what we're going to be looking at. So um, I'm unwrapping it now. Here we go. Fragile from China. If the seal on the bubble bag is damaged or peeled off, please do please reject and do not sign the package. It's a bit late then, isn't it? Postman's already three miles down the road. Anyway, I'm going to unwrap this, open the box, show you some components and show you a bit of the software that goes with it and um, just talk about how you can use these with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Nice box to keep them all in. 37 of them for about £12.99 I paid for them last week on Amazon and I temporarily signed up for Prime membership and got uh, quicker delivery and cheaper delivery. Just need to remember to cancel it within the next calendar month. So we have some instructions. And here we go. Service at elegoo.com. Hopefully, won't be needing that because the uh, components look pretty well made. They're all going to be really easy to use because they're all going to fit on the breadboard as well, which is nice. Various um, LEDs, different coloured LEDs, an RGB LED. We've got a couple of potentiometers there with some silica gel packed on the back, which is nice. Some buzzers. There's a loud buzzer and a quiet buzzer. Speaker, buzzer. If any of you have got any requests for what to do with them, um, let me know in the comment section and um, I'll try and set them up and make a little project with them. We have a CD, wow, a small one, which is not even going to be any good for a frisbee, but well. I'll show you the online bit in a minute where we can download the PDF. Rotary encoder, not used one of these before, that'll be fun. And um, yeah, well, there's a relay there, which will be even more fun. If you're not an electrician, then I probably would say leave that alone for the time being. You're messing with mains. Uh, the joystick there. I've seen the joystick used for um, camera sliders. You might have seen me make a camera slider out of a tile cutter before. Could have used that. I think they often get used for arcade games or retro pie arcade games. Um, I don't know what that is there. Find out in due course. I'm more interested in the big bag of resistors underneath, which looks um, quite useful. I mean, for the cost of this kit, if I'd bought that pack of resistors online, it would have cost almost, well, probably a third of the cost of the kit. The 2K resistors, I'm, I'm thinking I may need to end up using two or three of those together to get uh, up to 4 or 6K. I uh, don't know what that is. Find out in due course. So quite pleased with what I can see so far. And a nice box as well. So even if I've, um, even if I transfer all these bits to my main component box. I've still got this, which will be nice and handy for keeping um, yeah, capacitors, LEDs and so on in. And actually snap shut, those two orange clips actually do keep it shut. Quite often they fail and then your box bursts open and bits fly everywhere, so yeah, happy. Right, Elegoo, if you Google Elegoo 37 cents a kit, you get the contents of the CD-ROM, but obviously online. Um, you get all the libraries to go with the sensors as well, which you will need. The ones on here 
look like they are for Arduino. But if you've seen my, as an example, if you've seen my ten temperature sensor project before, you'll know that um, the same components work with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. They're just electronics components at the end of the day, 5 volts or 3.3 .3 volts. There's a little tutorial thing there telling you how to set the Arduino up. What I like about a lot of these is there are only three wires, ground, 3.3 um, or 5 volts, and then a data one. Oh, that's got four, but yeah, the temperature one was one wire. Temp uh, this is a humidity sensor, which obviously monitor the humidity in your room, or I think it's often been used with Arduino garden, garden plant projects. So yeah, there's the Arduino circuit. Couldn't be easier, could it? There's kind of spec here as well, telling you the, the maximum and minimum um, humidity and temperatures these components are working. An unofficial Arduino. If I buy an official ones, I like to just donate to Arduino. Here we go. DS18B20 Digital Temperature Sensor Module, which you will have seen before. That is the same sensor in a previous video that I did in the summertime. And I can say it worked very well. Three pins, which is very easy to set up. I think that sensor alone probably again probably would have cost uh, I don't know two three four quid online so by the time you've paid postage so yeah 37 sensors is a um, really nice way of buying them that was the circuit on the Raspberry Pi so refer back to that if you want to set that up and I've got a previous video where I configured the um, DS18B20 temperature sensor Oh, so this is the same sensor that you used for your Pi temperature project. Well, fairly self-explanatory. So the libraries, if you need to install the libraries in the Arduino, you can do it from the GUI. Kit in there, just for lols and bands. Um, Yeah, don't really need to go there. But just kind of showing you what is included with the software and the documentation for this kit. So for twelve ninety nine, you get thirty seven components, full documentation, which you probably, which you wouldn't get if you bought the components by themselves. So it's all here. You've got all the libraries. Um, I paid for this, I didn't get it free, so yeah, I'm I'm not really a salesman, but just um, passing on my experience of, of buying the kit. Here we go, here's the sample Arduino um, code for the humidity sensor. Usual void setup, begin, a serial begin to get the serial monitor printing to the screen. Yeah, there you see. Th Five or three point three volts. So temperature and humidity. And the delay is a thousand, so that's a thousand milliseconds, so that's one second. Arduino is different to the Pi, obviously the Arduino set deals with milliseconds and the Pi um, it, it, GPIO is um, just in seconds, you don't need to convert it to milliseconds. So I hope that's been interesting. Um, I'm probably going to start tinkering with these this week, so I'll be posting another, my next video will probably be trying out one or two of these.
Um, and then I need to start actually using them on proper projects rather than just testing them. So uh, yeah, I'll um, be thinking. I'll be coming up with some ideas. If you've got any ideas, please put some comment. Add, add some comments in the comment section and subscribe. And um, yeah, let's see what I can get up to with these. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, come back soon. Thank you. Thanks for subscribing if you have. And if you haven't, well, you know, I'm still friends, I guess. And um, I'm just talking now, trying to get the video up to 10 seconds. Because uh, 10 seconds? 10 minutes. I just thought 10 is a nice round number. Well, hey, there we go. Anyway, see you soon. Bye-bye.